Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time seeing me, my name is Erica. If you like this video, once you finish, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what other videos y'all want to see from me. I already did a video on me taking down my hair, which is like a, a vlog. Should be up by the time y'all see this video. Yeah, I already blow dried and put everything in my hair. This is everything that I use to blow dry and flat iron my hair. Y'all can see that it's kind of it's all I use on my hair. I got my flat iron. I want to talk to y'all while I do my hair about. I basically want to come on here while I do my hair and talk about how I lost so much weight because I've been getting a lot of comments about it. I'm not tripping because it's not like I'm on crack or something. Get that out the way. That's just, I want to start off by saying which I'm going to be inserting clips throughout this video just to show y'all, you know, where I started from, where I was, and then like where I am now. So... Basically, like with all of that being said, in high school, I was, I guess you can say, I was slim. I was, I was very skinny in high school. Growing up, I mean, growing up period, I was small for my age. I'm short, I'm five feet tall, Um, not growing anymore. So I've just been small my whole life. Going into, um, well, not even going into my ninth grade year, but my ninth grade year. About the end of my ninth grade year, I got on birth control. And like during the summer, during the summer I gained a little bit of weight, but it wasn't nothing serious. And it was mostly in my bottom half like my hips and my butt area. So I kind of kept that weight. So basically my ninth grade year, going into my ninth grade year, I weighed, oh my God, I was about 110. I stayed between about 110, 115. That was, and then I went up to like 115, 120 from my 10th grade year up until like half of my 11th grade year. I was still small. I just kind of spread out at the bottom. But my senior year, I want to say in school, my best friend worked at um, Texas Roll House. And he would bring me bread all the time. So that was like one thing that made me gain weight. And it was to the point where I lived around the corner from the Texas Roll House. So I used to go walk up there and order 12 rolls and... I would probably eat that for dinner. Like I would just eat all of them in one sit and watch YouTube or something and just eat. Y'all probably wondering what I'm doing to my hair. I'm gonna end up wrapping it up. I have to go to the doctor today. I'm gonna end up wrapping it up and then letting it, you know, fall how it fall. But y'all will see once it's done. But yeah, I started eating that a lot. And that was like the main thing I used to like to eat. And then I was working, so I was able to just order food when I wanted to, or go out to eat when I wanted to, whatever the case may be. So then, you know, I started gaining more weight. When I graduated high school, I want to say I weighed about 135. I was like 135. To jump from 115, 120 to 135, that was big. So going into my freshman year of college, you know, I don't know if y'all heard of that term, um, the freshman 15, where from what I've heard was that you gain 15 pounds as a freshman. Like, you know, there's newfound freedom that you have, you know, you, eat with, you know, just basically like you're eating what you want, when you want, and everything like that. You're not as active as you was when you was in school. You know what I'm saying? So you kind of just, if you're not still going to college, you're probably just sitting around eating all day, maybe have a job, but then, you know, that's gonna create a habit of like, okay, I'm going to eat. My freshman year in college, I had gained even more weight. I was about 145 at that time, like in the beginning. 
like, you know, over the summer, I gained some weight. And then by the time school started, I weighed about 145. My doctor kept telling me they got to slow down, da 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 woo And I'm just like, I'm just eating bread. Don't get me wrong, bread could really, really, really do a number on your body. Because, you know, it's bread. Bread swells. It sticks to your body and stuff like that. So, it's just, I was eating it a lot. So, I understand. But at the same time, I just was like, I'm not about to stop eating. I ended up getting off of birth control in November of my freshman year in college. I didn't get it no more. But it was kind of like I was still gaining the weight a little bit. But then I got stuck. Like, I, I got stuck at, like, 165, almost 170. I'm going certain pictures. Let it get me real, real big, but I kind of stayed stable. So I started going. Me and my sister started going to the gym together. Um, I started trying to eat healthy, uh, walking around the neighborhood and stuff like that to lose my stomach area. Because that really was the problem, my stomach that I didn't like. Eventually the weight started to fall off a little bit and I got down to Yeah, eventually um I started it started to fall off a little bit. I got down to about 145 again. No, 155. It dropped down to about 155. And I stayed that way for a long time. I was 155 for a while. It would just kind of fluctuate between 150 and 155. Just basically up and down, up and down. And then I slowly started to notice a change. I graduated five years ago. So two years ago, when I first got pregnant, I was losing weight. Like, right before I got pregnant. Um, I just I you know just started losing weight and people could tell on Instagram and I'll insert a, a, that picture I guess that like what made people start to pay attention to my weight because somebody said something about it. I got down to about 145, 135, like in between that. Then I got pregnant. I found out I was pregnant. Well matter of fact somebody made a comment like oh don't lose no more weight that's good where you at or whatever but you know I didn't have no control over that at that time I wasn't trying to lose weight I just I had just moved to California what do you want what do you want at the time I had just moved out here to California I wasn't trying to lose weight I was actually happy I, again like I said before I got on birth control I was small so, you know, if you think about it, my body probably is just regulating back to what it was. Got pregnant, and this would be another story time, but I was extremely sick the first half of my pregnancy. Throwing up every morning, couldn't keep things out, everything. Um, so, of course, that made me lose even more weight. Y'all, I lost, I found that I was pregnant in... September of um, 2018, by January, yeah, by January, I had lost about 10, 15 pounds, yeah, and then I started, that's when I started to gain my weight back, around that time, um, once I had her, I wasn't concerned about, like, snapping back or nothing like that, but going in, going in when I had her, I weighed 175. So I gained, I did gain my weight back a little. I ain't gonna say I gained it back. She gave me a little bit of weight, but it was literally out. And I'm gonna insert picture. I was 175 so I got it back a little bit but after I had her after I had her I was kind of stable like I maybe got I got down to 155 again 
Like right after I had her, I weighed about 155. Still at the same time, like once I um had her, I wasn't like in a rush to do a snap back or nothing like that. I was just letting my body do what it needed to do because one, I had um I had a C-section. I wasn't laying down most of it because I wanted to, you know, get better, but for the most part I was in pain when it came to that. Uh, and it was very uncomfortable. Oh, and I was breastfeeding too. And that helps you lose weight. So yeah, that's actually what I was going to try to lose weight was just the breastfeeding. I wasn't trying to exercise anything at the moment. So I ended up moving back home. I ended up moving back home. And I think that really did a number on me just like stress wise, being away from my husband and stuff. But that was our first time being away from each other the way, you know, that long or whatever. So like, stress a little bit of postpartum depression and i can talk about that in another video also january of this year i think i had the virus i think i had um covid because i was real 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 sick in the beginning of this year like literally right after christmas going into january and that was crazy i couldn't eat i didn't want to drink nothing like water made me throw up anything just it just made me throw up i could not eat i felt like i was gonna pass out multiple times i almost passed out holding my daughter i was like really 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 sick in the beginning of the year and i lost even more weight like my weight just started to drop 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 which i was posting a lot when i had that weight only because i felt good about myself and then as i started losing more and more weight and people was commenting on my weight i was like i didn't want to post no more so y'all don't see me posting and stuff it's because of that like i don't have time for nobody commenting on which you know i own my shit i know i lost weight i know i'm small you know what i'm saying yeah i just don't need and y'all probably will be like well why are you putting this on youtube and it's like because i, I own my shit but at the same time i went i just feel like people shouldn't comment on people weak because you never know what somebody is going through you don't know if um you don't know if it's or if it's you know that white girl over sugar stuff you don't know what it is that somebody is going through or what they're taking or what medication that they might be on for their health that's causing them to lose weight or gain weight so if everybody just mind their business now when a person start looking it's okay to have concern if somebody's starting to look sick or whatever it's okay or if you know that they are known for messing with drugs or whatever the case may be it's okay to be concerned but at the same time like stop judging people for stuff like that yeah i don't know if y'all thought y'all were gonna get some like other kind of tea but that's really it i'm gonna come back on the screen to like close this video out so y'all can see my hair and stuff before i go to the doctor but yeah that's really all i wanted to say as far as like how i lost so much weight or why i lost so much weight just to kind of put that to rest real quick and like i said the stuff is a lot of other factors that did contribute to it like stress and postpartum so if my new mothers that just so happen to come across this video or my old moms if y'all you know because postpartum depression is not talked about um it wasn't talked about as much as it is now back then so i think it'd be a good idea if i did a video on postpartum because okay i think it might be a good idea if i did do a video on postpartum because you know you may realize that some actions that your mom was doing if like if you don't have kids you may realize that some actions that your mom was doing was actually because she was going through postpartum depression and it can really, really take a toll on you. And if you don't get help or the right help and you just let it continue, it can go on for years. You, just, you will start making it feel like that's normal and that's not okay. I think I'm going to do a video on that. But y'all can let me know if y'all want to see that. I'm going to come back once my hair is done. Probably once I'm dressed, y'all. My hair have gotten so long. Like my hair has gotten so long i'm gonna insert a picture when i cut my hair i cut my hair in 
I think 2000, December 2017, I cut my hair. And my hair is back long how it was. And I just recently cut it again, but like not as short. But anyway, I'm going to come back to y'all once I finish my hair. I'm dressed and probably leaving out the door on my way to my appointment. So I'm going to see y'all in the next clip. All right, y'all, I'm back. I'm finished my hair. I'm about to go ahead and take it down, show y'all what I, you know, what was done with it. I'm about to go ahead and go to the doctor. Just to go run to the store. I mean, not to the store. To the doctor. But yeah, that's it for this video, y'all. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what other stuff y'all want to see from me. And don't forget to share this video. Bye.